Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you a really cool scissor kick and not just a normal scissor kick. What we're going to do is we do a scissor kick and then we end up in a split. So please, please make sure that you're warmed up properly, that your hips are open and also that you warmed up your hemis because you don't want to pull a hemi. It will take forever to heal. I speak from experience. So yeah, I'm going to warm up. You do the same and I see you back on the pole after you warmed up. And to keep it real, I haven't really worked on my flexibility and my splits are okay, but my active flexibility is not as good. So I don't know how it's gonna look like if I'm able to get like a full straight split when I jump into it, or if it's not a full split. But that's the reality, I haven't been working on it. And of course the flexibility gets worse if you don't train it. Okay, so much for your real talk, but if you're not able to do a full split yet, then don't worry, it's okay, you don't need to go into full split, but just try to go as wide as possible. Maybe not in the first try, but over time. You can record yourself and then you will see where you're at. So what we're gonna do is make sure that at first your pole is on static. And I also recommend you to not try this in high heels if you do it for the very first time. I've done it so many times, I'm already warmed up, so I'm gonna do it in high heels today. So we start with this grip, bottom hand, inside hand on the pole, and then the other hand, head height or a little bit higher. You can also experience a little bit, experiment a little bit and see what works better for you. Because my right side is more flexible, I kick my right leg up. Okay, so that means that my left leg steps back, I hold on to the pole, I bring my left leg up like this and then I kick up with the right leg and go into a split. Up and split. It's really hard to do it slowly, but I try my best. <laughs> and then you land. It also depends on the angle if it looks like a full split or not. I just reviewed the footage that I've taken so far and I can see that the angle is not quite right. So I just try to adjust myself and then I see if it looks more like a full split. So when you land, it's really important that you just stay in control of your legs. So it's not like you just throw your legs up and then you just land. You really need to make it in a controlled way. So I engage my core, I engage my legs, my quads especially, and then I slowly come down so that you don't just smash into the ground. You don't want that because that does not look graceful. So try your best to land gracefully and kind of slowly so that you don't hit the ground. Like this. And what I do is that my right leg steps in front of the left leg because we're gonna do like a little routine. It's just a, a small choreography, but it's always good to learn transitions with different tricks. But we're gonna work on this first. You can also do it on the other side to see what feels more natural to you. And I mean, it's always good to try it on both sides, but there's usually always one side that just feels more natural and where your flexibility is a little bit better. For me, it's the right leg. So I start behind the pole, I bring the inside leg up, and then I push into the pole with my bottom hand and pull with the upper hand. And this motion makes it possible to lift myself off the ground. So I kick my right leg up, and I use both hands at the same time and I kind of get that upward motion by doing that. Um, there are also other variations where, you, where you're not vertical with your legs, but more that you lean backwards and then do the um, scissor kick in the air on more a horizontal line. Um, I haven't worked that much on it, but I can show you what it looks like. I try my best, but it's a little bit scary because you need to Lean back and trust yourself. Yeah, so that split wasn't perfectly horizontal, but I actually kind of like that angle. Um, so maybe I'll keep working on that as well. 
and see if I can improve it over time. <laughs> I smashed a little bit into the ground, but um, yeah, practice. And the shoes are also pretty heavy. So you're definitely better off doing it without high heels in the beginning. I show you it from this angle. Inside leg steps back. I hold onto the pole, push, pull, and now jump into the scissor kick. And as you can see, I jump into the scissor kick, but at the same time, it's still very controlled. So the mistake that some pole dancers do is that they give 100%, they kick their leg up, their split is perfect, but then when they come back, they are maybe not strong enough or they just let themselves drop and it doesn't look good. So please make sure that you consider that, that you are always in control of your body. It doesn't matter if you kick, if you come down, point your toes, engage your quads, and then slowly come down. Step number two, we find the perfect transition into the next move. And I'm gonna teach you step by step how you do it. We start with a scissor kick, the one I just taught you. Get into position, hands on the pole, do your scissor kick, and then when you land, you bring the right leg in front of the left one. So you cross it. And let's go. Right leg in front, and from here, hand is still on the pole, we do a pirouette. So we turn towards the pole. Pirouette, let go of the, the bottom hand, the pole is now on your back. You reach the hand with the bottom hand and then you slowly slide down the pole and you bend your left knee. Left knee comes down to the ground and the right leg goes straight down. From here, bend the right leg, step, and now you keep going in the same direction. So you move towards the pole and now your upper hand will be in a twisted grip, but as soon as you come around, you let go and do a re-grip. So you turn towards the pole, and now you let go of the pole and grab the pole again. All right, let's do it again from the start. Five, six, seven, eight, and kick. Left, right leg down. Spin, 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 and bend the left leg. Straighten the right one, come around, spin, 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 and here we are. So how we stand up from this is simple. Push the platform into the ground and then bring your backside, <laughs> your beautiful backside up. Push into the ground and stand up. All right, I do it a bit faster so you can see what the whole routine looks like. So the most important part of this short routine is how you land after the split kick. It happens to me sometimes too that I land a little bit harder on the ground, but then you just keep going and you go straight into the period and then slide down to the ground. There was a little bit of freestyle I just go with the flow, as you always should. Um, so yeah, practice this routine if you want on both sides. I recommend it highly. Let me know how it went for you, if it was easy to follow, if you need to work on your flexibility, if you maybe need some more exercises to work on your active flexibility, because that's what we need here in the scissor kick. That's really important to have a good active flexibility. My fellow pole dancers, I really hope that this tutorial was helpful for you and that you could follow my step-by-step -step instructions. Please leave feedback down below. It's always welcome and it really helps me to improve my videos. Make sure you join in in the next video, which is most likely next Sunday. And I see you next time with a new video. Mwah.